folks, welcome back to Rule of Thumb. Today I'm going to start another series of jams, jellies, and the like. I um, had a bunch of frozen fruit in my freezer, including some of the peaches that you all saw me put in the freezer, so I'm going to use those. I have some triple berry blend, I have some very cherry blend, I have some strawberries. So we're going to make a few different things. So I'm going to bring you folks along for each of the ones I try. The one we're going to do today is peach butter. So I'm going to go ahead and get the ingredients together, show you what we're working with, and show you how we'll proceed. Okay folks, we're back. I got you set up over here on my island because I'm going to be working on some other projects. And this one's going to cook for a while. So I thought I'd set up over here. I have my multi-cooker here. This is the Ambiano multi-cooker. This is the Aldi brand. Um, we actually got this as a housewarming gift when we moved into our house from our friends Mike and Rick. Um, so I'm excited to try this because I haven't tried it yet. So I have in here eight cups of peaches, frozen peaches. I've got two cups of lightly packed brown sugar. I've got some ginger. I've got bourbon vanilla. This is my homemade bourbon vanilla. And I've got some lemon juice. So we're going to go ahead and get the brown sugar in here. And we're going to do the ginger. I'm going to do... Oh, this one's not open yet. So, oh. Is foil anybody else's nemesis? Like getting the foil off of packages like this, like the security foil, I swear is like torture. Alright, so we're going to do about one, two, three tablespoons of lemon juice. I'm sorry, ginger. I was looking at the lemon juice. Um, we're going to do two good tablespoons of vanilla, and we're going to do a quarter cup of the lemon juice. Come on, there we go. Alright, so I got all that in there. I'm going to turn this up to high because I want to bring it up to a boil first. Um, not a hard boil, but I want to get everything heated through thoroughly and then I will turn it down um, and bring it down to low to let it simmer and let it reduce down and then um, I'll take a stick blender to it and blend it up and we should have peach butter. So, I'll bring you folks back um, as we go along so you can see the progress and uh, see how it's going as it develops. Okay, folks, I thought I'd bring you back for an update on the peach butter here. So, I, once this got hot and the peaches started to get soft, I took this into my Vitamix and I blended it in my Vitamix and then I poured it back in here and you can see... This is already starting to thicken up. Can you see that on there? Yeah, okay. So, I have it on low now. I'm going to let this go probably for a couple hours. But I will let you know um, when I get to the point where I think I want it to be. I will bring you back. I'll let you know how long it was on. And uh, then we'll get this jarred up and in the canner. So, I just wanted to bring you back, show you an update let you know what we're doing. I am cooking this with the top off now because I want the liquid to evaporate. I want this to condense down. I want this to be a really rich, decadent peach butter. So I will bring you folks back for an update when we get to the next point. Okay, folks, we're back and we are ready to jar up the peach butter. So this is Make sure you can see this here. Yeah. It's like good and thick, perfect consistency. The color is gorgeous. So we're just going to give this one last stir here. 
So all totaled, I had this cooking for four, about four hours. Probably the first hour or so on high, and then the last part of it on low. And oh man, is that beautiful. So we're gonna can this to a quarter inch headspace, just like we do with any other jam or jelly. And then we're gonna get it in the canner and can it up. So let's make sure we got our proper headspace here. Oh I, I wish you had smell o vision because the, the smell on this is incredible. I mean, that brown sugar gives it kind of a caramely scent to it. Oh, man. It's really crazy. All right. Get some vinegar here. Wipe our rims. Get this a uh, hot lid here. rings and fingertip tight and these are set to go in the canner. I'm going to get the rest of these jars filled up. Like I said I'll bring this to a full rolling boil. We will let it process for 10 minutes, turn it down, let it sit for five, bring them out and I will bring you folks back to see the final result. Okay there it is folks the finished product. Some peach butter. Ugh. This stuff is really something else. I definitely recommend trying this recipe. It is very indulgent. I mean, it's not something you're going to sit down and eat a whole jar. I can tell you that. But I'm thinking on top of some vanilla bean ice cream, it's going to be something special. So, I hope you folks enjoyed this video. We did get seven half pints out of this. Um, so, if you think you might want to try it, give it a whirl. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. Come back and see us soon. And as always, I hope you had a great day.